Hey, it's Rob from Wheelworks Bike Shop in Dublin. Something very cool for you today. So, this is the first one of these we've had in. Uh, we've done the unboxing video. Uh, we got it into the workshop and we're just going to do a quick run through. So, it is a Trek Madone SLR7. So, it's Ultegra Di2. Uh, Bontrager Aeolus Pro 51 wheels. It's got the new Aeolus RSL tyres. Bontrager tyres. Um, it's a Gen 8 Madone, but what's really cool about this one is the paint, as I hope you can see in the sun. Dave wants to get in a bit closer there. So this is the paint that the all of the Trek athletes, road, triathlon, mountain bike, this is the, the paint scheme that they raced in the Paris Olympics 2024. Uh, and it's available in certain models through Project 1. This is the first one we've had in. We've also got a speed concept in the warehouse, which we'll do an unboxing and a build video of later on. So we'll run through the, the basics of this one. Uh, we've built it with a Verse Pro saddle, so it's a short nose saddle, uh, slightly wider than the RSL and a little bit flatter. Uh, you've got a big cutout to relieve pressure. Um, you've got the integrated one-piece uh, Madone cockpit. Uh, that's a 35 centimeter at the tops and 38 at the bottom. These new cockpits are really cool. They come in a whole selection of sizes. So they, they go in two centimeter jumps and they're all flared. So they go 35, 37, 39, 41, maybe a 43, I don't know. 41 might be the biggest. Anyway, um, the big thing with them is there's a whole host of stem lengths available with the narrow bars. So on the previous generation Madone, you couldn't get anything longer than maybe a hundred mil with the narrow setup with this one they do the narrow 35 centimeter with a 110 and a 120 so if you're riding uh, low and long and you want that really aero aggressive setup you can use the new cockpit you'll have seen some of the trek pros if you watch any bike racing pro bike racing a lot of them ride with a two-piece or they used to ride with two-piece bars and stem and that was because the old cockpit wasn't long enough in the stem bar combination for them whereas now they can size down to give themselves a smaller frame um, so somebody my height would typically ride a 56 maybe, which would be a medium large, and a lot of them would size down to a 54 or a medium. Uh, they'd slam it and they'd ride a longer stem and a narrower bar, which coincidentally is something that I've done on my bike. I'll do a separate video on that, how that's working out for me. Um, I'm on the new Gen 8 Madone as well, and I've done just that size down, gone for a different cockpit configuration. And I'll do a video on how that's working out in terms of speed and comfort and all that sort of stuff. Um, but bike handling is, is worth noting with the narrower bars. It, it, it's 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 almost instant. It's it's you know you start riding it. It feels it, for for me certainly it felt very natural, very comfortable. The only time it feels any way different is the first couple of seconds out of the saddle. You get it. It, it feels a tiny bit twitchier, but you sort of settle into that really quickly and you forget you're on a narrower bar. So I really like it. I'm riding a 35 now. Anyway, we'll run through the rest of the spec. Uh, Bontrager Aeolus Pro 51s, 51 mil deep. Uh, the Aeolus Pro are Bontrager's mid-range wheel. There's an Elite 50, which is a slightly shallower version. They're a narrower rim as well, the older rim shape. Um, and then above that, there's a, a high-end RSL, which is also in the 51. It's the same rim shape as this, but with a higher grade carbon, lighter spokes and better hubs. Um, and the RSLs come in a, a, a bunch of different sizes. The, the RSLs come in 75, 62, 51, and 37. The Pro, the mid-range wheel, comes in either this one, the 51, or also in the 37. Uh, what they've done with the new Madone is they've, they've married up aero with lightweight. So you've got the deeper wheels, whereas the older Monda used to have a shallower wheel, the climbing bike. This one has deeper wheels for aero. It has a slimmer fa frame than the old Madone. Um, so you've got really slim seat stays, whereas the old one had much deeper aero seat stays. It had a much deeper seat tube and it had a much deeper down tube. So Trek have gotten the aero in a much lighter bike in a different way. They've approached the aerodynamics problem because aerodynamics makes a big difference to performance immediately. You improve your aero today. If you can hold that position, you go faster today. If you go out and train really hard today, you see that benefit four or five or six weeks um so the aero is instant if you can improve your position on the bike and improve your aero setup on the bike you go faster immediately there's no delay so what they've done is they've combined the deeper wheel 
the new aero frame shapes, the aero bottles and the rear wheel to create what they call a full foil. So this is all effectively acting as one aero foil. So it's much faster through the wind. It's very similar to what you see TT and Troy bikes do. They'll have a, a bottle, wedge shaped bottle that fills all this space here and it cleans up this area, makes it a lot quicker. You've got much slimmer seat stays. So it's a much lighter back end and it's really stiff, really responsive. It's really nice when you're climbing. You've got the ISO flow hole in the frame back here. God, look at that color. That's beautiful, isn't it? I don't know if that's showing up. Can you see that? You've got a gorgeous shine on that. That's really nice. Anyway, distracted. Um, the ISO flow and the new cockpit work in tandem sort of opposite ways around. And this is a very layman's explanation of the aerodynamics. So if I butcher it a bit, work with me. So the idea at the front end is the new bar is shallower and deeper this way. So it actually slows the wind down at the front. Uh, so that w when the wind is hitting you, it's a little bit slower. So there's less wind resistance at the front. And then the idea with the ISO flow is it draws the air through here and accelerates it out the back. So that the drag that you normally get behind you, I call it push drag at the front and pull drag at the back. That's purely, that's patented by me. That's TM, Rob Cummins. So push drag, pull drag. I'm sure there's actual scientific names for it. Um, so the, the drag that you get at the back is lessened by accelerating the air away from you. Um, and that's my layman's explanation of it. That's one of the nicest paint jobs we've had for a long time. And I wasn't sure about getting those in at all. I, I, it's very hard to see it on, on the TV and in the photos, the way that paint works. I don't know if that's translating to our video there. Anyway, that's the aero bit. One piece cockpit I've talked about. The saddle choice we've talked about, but there's a whole heap of saddle choices. If we're doing a project one bike with you, um, it doesn't matter about the saddle. You try it if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you bring it back a couple of weeks later, we change it. The same goes for the cockpit. If something doesn't work from a fit point of view, we'll change it. Um, there's new skewers on the bike, which is uh, detail, but it's a nice little detail. Um, so this is the, the skewer lever. So you can ride the bike without it, and it's more aero, obviously. Um, or it's just a 5mm Allen key that you slot in and it unscrews your skewer. However, it is also, at the pointy end, a 4mm Allen key, which does all the other bolts on your bike. Oops. So you can adjust your stem or your seat post height with your 4mm skewer Allen key. And then you pop it back in and it stays in your frame. I thought that was really cool. Um, any other details I'm missing, Dave? Is that it? Just that's the best paint we've had in ages. That's really nice. God, that is gorgeous. Yeah, really impressed with that. That's definitely a sunny day paint. Okay, so that's it, Rob from Wheelworks Bike Shops in Ireland. And uh, Trek Madone SLR7, Paris Olympic Team Color Edition. That's it. And new tires, Fontrager RSL, Aeolus RSL tires. They're 728mm size on this. And they're the cotton tires, so cotton casing, so they're the, the fast tires with a bit of puncture protection in the middle. Um, haven't ridden the new ones, but the old ones were a big favourite of mine. I really like them. Um, I'm not sure about the tan wall tires on this bike, but I do quite like tan walls. You can let me know if you like tan walls, what you think of the colour in the comments. If you're still here, that's probably a long video to be hanging around for. So if you're still here, let me know what you think of the colour, what you think of the tan walls, what you think of the aero thing. If you have questions, stick it in the comments.